All right, I'm going to show you the proof today that the Bible classifies atheists as Luciferians. Now I know right away the atheists are screaming and foul and everything else, and they say, we don't believe in Satan, we don't believe in Satan. I just want to show you here, I want you to open your mind for a minute, and I want you to just look at this thing logically. How can we look at a book of Chile? Yeah, yes, yes, I know, I know. But just open your mind for a little bit, okay? It's not going to hurt too bad. Let's look here at the book of Genesis. And I know you reject it. I know, I know, I know. But just let's just stick with me here for a minute. Genesis chapter 3. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Oh, I know, talking snake, I know, I know. It's terrible, isn't it? Yea, hath God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God hath said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die, for God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, that your eyes shall be opened, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree desired to be desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof, and did eat, and, also, and gave also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. Okay? Now, you say, oh, I, reject, I know you reject it. Okay? That's not even what we're talking about here. But let's look at this thing. Did the serpent, did he say, I want you to worship me? Serpent being Satan. No. Did he say you have to become an official card-carrying uh, member of the Church of Satan? No, he didn't say that. Look what he says. All right, right here. God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened. Question to you atheists. Do you believe and confess that your eyes have been opened now that you're an atheist? Do you see the world more clearly? Well, I did. just do you agree with that statement there? Do you believe that your eyes are more open than somebody like me that's blinded by religion? If you're honest, you'll say yes. I do believe that. But what's the connection? See? You always got to try and get ahead of me, don't you? Let's continue. You believe your eyes are open, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. Question number two, atheist. Do you believe that you can define morality? Do you decide what you believe is right and wrong? I mean, how do you scientifically define morality? It's a good one for you. Okay? You believe, as an atheist, that your eyes are open. Mine are closed because I'm in religion. You believe that you can make your own standards of right and wrong. And you say, well, I submit to the laws of land and stuff like this. Uh, well, until they become corrupt. I mean, if the Catholic Church openly took over and they pretty much control things, we'll talk more about that here in a minute. But if the Catholic Church openly took over, or Islam will say that uh, that way, and they said everybody is, you know, Sharia law, everybody has to become Muslim. You know, you're going to be a Muslim or you're going to die. Well, would you submit to that? Or would you say, no, I have my own code of standards and things like this? You see? You do believe that your eyes are open and that you can be, you may not believe that you're a god, but you believe that you can define good and evil. Verse 6, And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree desired to, to be desired to make one wise, do you believe that you're wise as an atheist? Do you believe that you are uh, educated and somebody like me is just a dumb hillbilly with outdated beliefs in an outdated book? Hmm. So you uh, passed the first three tests there. Let me show you where the word Lucifer appears in the Bible. The King James Bible. The other ones are from the Vatican. Don't mess with them. Isaiah chapter 14. Isaiah 14. 
And verse 12, How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which didst weaken the nations? For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven, I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high, yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the sides of the pit. Now, you might not confess everything exactly like that, but to the fact, the fact of the matter is, as an atheist, let me ask you a question. Do you believe that you are your own God? I know you're going to vehemently des you know, deny it because you know where I'm taking this thing. You know that I'm taking this to prove that you are, in fact, a Luciferian. You see, a Luciferian, a real one, doesn't believe in Satan. But they believe in the concepts that Satan taught. The rebellious nature against God. They say to themselves, I reject things like sin, eternal punishment. I'm going to look for contradictions and errors in this King James Bible. Yeah. Yeah. You know why? Because in your mind, you believe that your eyes have been opened. You believe that you are a God knowing good and evil. And you believe that you are wise. Congratulations, you're a Luciferian. You're following in the footsteps of your father. It's not God the Father. And you say, well, this is stupid. Okay, let me, let me just say this. Um, I know that the atheists make a big deal out of fighting religion and stuff like this. And you'll get the Ten Commandments monuments or the Ten Commandments in a public school or whatever else. And they get these atheists, you know, just atheist organizations going crazy. And uh, going in there, you must remove these Ten Commandments, you know, and everything else. Because it mentions God and we don't believe in God. Science has disproved God and the whole deal. All right. Um, well, if you're going to spend money and energy going after um, heinous crimes of religious hate speech, why not go after Roman Catholicism, specifically the Jesuit order that the Pope, right now Pope Francis, is a part of? Why not uh, use your power and your influence as atheists to go after Roman Catholicism? Uh, if you do some research, you'll find out that a lot of your leading, the leading philosophers of humanism were actually Jesuit trained. All. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. See, the fact of the matter is, uh, they're atheist. You are a Luciferian. You might not worship Satan, but uh, he didn't tell anybody to worship him in Isaiah 14 or Genesis chapter 3. He never said to Eve, hey, worship me. Call yourself a Satanist. He never said that. All he said is, I can give you wisdom that will open your eyes and you can define your system of belief. You can define what is right and wrong. Make your own decisions in life. You'll be free from the constraints of the evil God that tells you what to do. So congratulations if you're an atheist. You're a Luciferian.